So uh, Mishan, back at it, get another fight in Canada. Um, you know, how exciting was this opportunity to get to fight in Vancouver here on this card? Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity. I think, you know, Vancouver is kind of like, you know, great spot, same time zone as Vegas. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like home away from home, you know, kind of thing. And great, great food and the weather is nice. Uh, I had a great training camp. You know, it's great. Yeah, you've been in Vegas a little bit now. Uh, how comfortable are you feeling? You know, in that environment around you know, with the coaches, training partners, just all those things. Yeah, no, it's good. I've been there for like a year and a couple months now, mm -hmm. so everything kind of like falls in those places. You know, I have a lot of great training partners, uh, good coaches. Uh, just it, it's a, it, Vegas is a good environment for a fighter to be in because you always have local tough guys and you have international guys that always visit in Las Vegas coming in train so you kind of like rub off against other people see what kind of skills they bring you know all that kind of stuff so it's nice I was able to get training with many kind of like high level uh, guys from many different organizations and it's just good good look you know it was it was good training yeah, that's good stuff. And I mean, coming off the last fight, um, was there anything that you felt you needed to reassess or anything like that? Or was that just a uh, you know, product of it just being a tough night getting caught early? Again? You know, it's uh, you can always try to look for something and make excuse or whatever. But I just came back and started training and sparring. And I know how well I do in sparring. And I just have to basically show it under the bright lights and uh, that's all I really have to do, you know? And that's why I'm here and this Saturday that's exactly what I'm planning on doing. Yeah. I mean, the lot, like getting from that fight into this one, were you surprised that they kind of gave you another you know, up and coming on the feed type of guy? Was this a matchup that you expected or did you just feel you're in the position that you need to take whatever fight they came to you with? I mean, it's also kind of like, yeah, you know, it's another tough guy and all that, but you know, at the same time, you know, if you good, uh, put a good performance and you put him away, then that kind of puts me in a better positions for myself instead of fighting somebody who is not really, you know, kind of like no one is looking at him kind of thing. Sure. So, you know, I, I don't mind taking tough fights. I, I don't mind. I, I prepare really well for this fight and uh, I feel great. And uh, I think it's going to be a good night. Yeah, and is it, um, you know, obviously you, you get down after a loss and stuff like that, but when you kind of look at the landscape of the division, it, it seems like it only takes, you know, two, three wins, if that, to get right back on the top and be in title discussion. Does that make it easier on your mind, like knowing that, yeah, you know, maybe a bad moment happened, but it doesn't take a ton to recover from it? You know, a bad moment happens, and it kind of happens to every single fighter out there, and you have to understand that it doesn't matter how tough you are, you know, Anyone, any human can get knocked out. That's just nature of the sport and that's just the business. So, you know, obviously I was down a little bit, but I kind of, you know, I knew that I have to keep going and just get up and fall nine times, get up 10 and just keep going, keep fighting, keep getting better. You know, um, there'll be a party on our street as well, you know, so I'm, I've been training, I did a lot of work and uh, I'm actually excited for this fight. Yeah, so when you look at an undefeated opponent and you're preparing for that, and uh, someone like Jim, who doesn't have you know all the ex as much experience as you, what do you kind of look at when you're assessing his game? Um, I mean, he, he's very tough, you know, he, and he fought in the UFC already a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's a tough kid. I don't underestimate him. I know he's very tough and he's fighting me because he's good enough to be there and, you know, he's 10-0 and undefeated mm -hmm. and all that. And but. I think that he also never fought uh, somebody on my level. Um, I didn't think he. I don't. I don't think he fought competition um, that I fought yet. So I think you know. Um, I. Ex I think that you know. There's still a lot more that he can see in MMA, and I'm hoping to bring that on Saturday for him. And then with the win here, do you look beyond that? Is this fight just you know, so important to you that you need to get this win here and then you reassess where you go from there? Um, I mean, I, I want to win this, of course, but then uh, after that, I yeah, I actually have someone in mind like I would like to call out right after and uh, see maybe they would, would like to dance as well. Is that a secret until after the fight? Uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted so that, you know, like I wanted to like beat after the fight, yeah. so so I just, I, I just stick with the plan. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. All right, well, looking forward to that, yeah. man. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so much for the time.